Hello everyone. Uh, today we're going to do this. So let's take a look. Optical illusion triangle and the word illusion on the bottom. Okay. So uh, if you have missed my previous video, how to make this type of uh, MC Escher style uh, impossible triangle in Illustrator, uh, I will make a link on top of my screen and my description as well. And please don't forget to subscribe and set the notification for the, my um, latest video. And let's get started. Okay, so we're going to make a um, new document the size of a 600 pixel by 600 pixel because I'm posting most of my video on my Instagram. Uh, hopefully you visit. Um, and then also a 24 frame rate and then a platform type it's gonna be HTML5 canvas I think uh, from this year 2021 since Adobe uh, stopped supporting the flash document so we're not gonna use uh, HTML action script 3.0 file uh, we're gonna use only HTML5 canvas from now on create it okay so, 600 pixels, oh, I'm sorry, 60%. <laughs> okay, so from my Illustrator, this is the one we created last time, and then I saved as the SVG file, SVG file, and also I saved this one, save for web, export, save for web, also, I saved as the um, PNG24, PING24 file. Make sure you check uh, transparency checkbox. So I saved already. So let me go back to AnimeCC. I'm going to import two library, uh, triangle PNG and triangle SVG file, those two files. Make sure you check the first radio button import all path into the same layer and frame and we're gonna see two images we're gonna see a little bit kind of a different things as visual file is imported as a kind of your uh, the gradient uh, is kind of a little bit change it uh, you can use either one but um for the first part we're gonna use the SVG file first as a vector so place it I'm going to uh, open my align panel if you do not see this it is under Windows menu and align and check align to stage box I'm going to place it and center okay so that is this and then <clears throat> go to modify menu break apart and break apart and break apart Okay, until you see the white meshes. So this is vector. So first one, the left wing, I'm going to set to this light gray. And the bottom one, a little bit darker gray. And the right wing, a little bit darker. So those three. And then we're going to separate these three pieces into separate layer. Okay. So select the first one. Uh, I'm going to keep it as it is. And the select the bottom one. And Command X under Edit Menu and Cut. Command X. And make a new layer on top. And then go to Edit Menu and Paste in Place. Okay. And the third one, the right wing thing. Cut again. Let me make a new layer on top and paste in place. Okay, so uh, let me rename each layer. This first one, the bottom one, I'm going to name it as left. And the second layer is the bottom of this triangle. And the top layer, right. Okay, all right. Then now, I'm going to animate this. Um, gonna be let me rewind it see something like this the three pieces coming in from the outside 
out of the um, uh, the stage, rotating and rescaling and turning into this color version of this green uh, green uh, triangle. So let me zoom out. Okay, and then select a one second mark of all layers. Insert a keyframe. Okay, and hold down the shift key and click on the top layer so you can select all three layers and place your mouse cursor somewhere in the middle and hold down the control key and click or right click then choose create classic twin okay so nothing's changing yet so first this left wing I'm gonna move it to somewhere here right wing there and the bottom one there so basically it's coming in like that like a puzzle but I want to make some more changes so let me select my the left wing first and open transform panel if you do not see this it is under Windows menu and transform here so I'm gonna make it 20% smaller and let me rotate 180 degree I will do the same thing for the right wing 20% 180 degree make sure your playhead is on the first keyframe and the bottom one transform panel 20% and 180 degree angle so this is what we have like this in order to give some little more excitement what I'm gonna do is let me select all layers and then <clears throat> open properties and there's a effect and ease options here I'm going to set to a minus 100 and see the difference. Okay, so that's it. And then next step is I'm going to uh, blend this grayscale version of my triangle into the, gray, uh, the green color version. So let me create a new layer on top and rename it as a color. Okay. And then on one second mark, insert a keyframe. And then from the library, I'm going to place my triangle.png file on top of it. Let me zoom in so I can line up like this. Okay. Yep, looks good. Okay. Next thing is uh, the grayscale one in the bottom will be fading out, and then this color one will be fading in, so like a kind of a um, crossing. So let me select maybe a two second mark of all layers and insert the keyframe. Then select the top layer place a somewhere in the middle in this color layer and hold down the control key or right click and insert the create classic twin okay so nothing's changing yet so <clears throat> excuse me what I'm gonna do is I'm going to select the first keyframe of this green one the color one and select it click on the stage open the properties panel and change the color effect, the alpha value, from 0 to 100. Okay. And also, let me hide this top one, top layer now, and then highlight all bottom three keyframes by holding down the shift because you can select all three keyframes on two second mark, the bottom three layers. Then click on your stage, 
change the alpha value down to zero. Now I'm going to make visible this top layer. So this is happening. See? Isn't it nice? It's a good transition. Changing. And then next step is I'm going to make it a little bit smaller and move to the kind of a top center slightly. Uh, maybe one second is kind of too long. So on my color version, select your frame number 60, insert the keyframe, hold down the control key or right click in the middle and choose the uh, create classic twin. Okay, and on frame number 60, I'm going to make it by using this free transform tool, hold down the shift key, make it a little bit smaller, maybe not too much, and move it up. Not too much, maybe about this size, about that position. So let me rewind it, changing and scaling down. Okay, maybe uh, in here, um, I'm going to change these options, another minus 100. Okay, that's good. Next step is, <clears throat> I want to have a text, the illusion. That is, let me show you, like this one, this illusion word. Uh, the typeface I was using for this one, you see that? It's a kind of a same concept as I have my optical illusion, um, the impossible shapes. So, I downloaded this typeface at uh, the font.com the font.com and then in the the font.com type in the search window type the word illusion and this is the one I <clears throat> I downloaded so click on download <clears throat> and you can download it And then just to double click, um, I up, uh, installed all these four TTF, True Type Font, all, all these four. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to type the word <clears throat> on top. So let me create a new layer. And then on frame number 60, insert a keyframe. And let me type the word illusion. Illusion. And the size 50 point and in black. And let me place it here. Okay. So I may just leave it as it is, which is fine, but I want to give some more fun like I did. So what I did was, as you can see, see? The word is kind of randomly appearing, fading in, kind of illusion. So uh, let's do it. So in illusion, the word, select the word, break apart first, go to modify menu and break apart. Okay. And then go to modify again, timeline, distribute to layers. Okay, now you can see that. Illusion. Okay. And break apart. The reason is, uh, this is a HTML5 canvas document. So that means, if your end user doesn't have the font we downloaded now, it will be replaced by something else. Like a uh, default font, like the Arial, or a Genev, or a Myriad, or... Um, Career, Times New Roman, or Georgia, something like that. So, as we break apart, now it is a graphic. So, um, any stations, any mobile device, uh, we're going to see the same result as a graphic. So, now, um, <clears throat> highlight the frame number 70 on the all letter layers, illusion, insert the keyframe. 
Okay. Select all layers. Place your mouse cursor somewhere in between 60 and 70 in this word, this each letter. Any letter is fine. And then hold down the control key or right click. Choose the classic twin. Okay. So nothing's happening yet. Okay. Now select all first keyframes of each of all letters. Only first keyframes on 60. Click on the stage, your letters, and then color effect, choose the alpha. So it's going to be all fading in like this. Don't worry about the, your missing uh, disappearing triangle. We're going to fix it. Okay, so from now on, each letter now has an effect fading in. We just need to change the order. Okay, so I just changed the order just randomly. So what I did was um, maybe a I, the first one, I'm going to move it to maybe somewhere here. And second one, a little further. And the third one. Let me just keep it, and this one. So there's no order. I just move it uh, randomly, letter by letter. Okay. It's okay. And then, on frame number 90, let me insert the keyframe so we can keep all letters on the same location. Just like this. Illusion. Okay. And then I need to keep my triangle, the color triangle, up to frame number 90. Just to insert the keyframe. So let me rewind it and play it. See? Okay, let me preview it uh, on my web browser. It will repeat it. It's kind of a too, it's not long enough. It doesn't stay uh, long enough to read it. So I'm going to give a little more time. Uh, from here, maybe um, two more seconds. From top layer to the color layer, insert the keyframe. And let me test movie again. One, two. And replay it. Okay. Okay, so that's it. Thanks for watching, and see you next time. Shoo, shoo, shoo.